Angus Finns. I got scars of fire, peace and light for me. I am devotion. Only courage can be my fellow. Atish is not only. Atish is not only. Atish is not only. Shipyard in cooperation with the Ankara-based Metexan Defense Industry was launched Friday. Now that the trial trips for the domestic AUSV have begun, the second stage will be the firing tests after the completion of the tests to be conducted at sea, according to officials. The ULAC armed unmanned surface vehicle being lowered into the sea at the Ares shipyard and speeding away from the shore. The unmanned armed drone is seen going past the Turkish seabed exploration vessel Oruk Reis which was at the center of a confrontation in the eastern Mediterranean between Turkey and Greece in late 2020. Releasing a joint statement, Ares Shipyard General Manager Utku Alank and Metexan Defense General Manager Selçuk Alparslan said that they are all aware of the importance of the defense of the seas surrounding Turkey, which is dubbed the Blue Homeland, along with the security and protection of the country's maritime continental shelf and the exclusive economic zone. In this context, we came together as two private companies and started the ULAC project, keeping our national interests in the foreground, and being aware of the fact that this is also an example in the defense industry, we continue our work day and night in great cooperation," the statement said. The officials of the companies added that from now on, the goal will be to complete sea tests and perform guided missile firing tests. Since the first day of the introduction of ULAC, we have received significant attention from both our country and from friendly and allied countries, the statement noted, adding that this interest enabled them to work with great motivation to design and manufacture the world's best unmanned marine vehicles. ULAC has been built from advanced composites, has 400 km range, 65 km per hour speed, day, night vision capabilities, encrypted communication infrastructure, which can be operated from mobile vehicles and headquarters or from sea platforms such as aircraft carriers or frigates, will be used for missions like intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, surface warfare, asymmetric warfare, escort missions, strategic infrastructure protection. Design of the prototype vessel was completed in August 2020 and structural build was completed two months later. First AUSV's missile systems are inclusive of four cells of Sirit and two of El Umdas, supplied by our national missile systems provider Rocketson, where the firing tests are planned in the first quarter of 2021. Along with the missile systems, AUSV will be equipped with different variations of communication and intelligence systems like jamming and electronic warfare systems to correspond diverse operational needs. AUSV will be able to carry out joint operations with complementary forces. Furthermore, AUSV is not only a remotely controlled vehicle but also and more importantly an autonomous vehicle that hosts artificial intelligence. After the first prototype vessel, other USVs for the operations like surveillance and intelligence, mine countermeasures, anti-submarine warfare, fire fighting, search and rescue missions, will be manufactured. In the coming period, the unmanned watercraft will also be equipped with different types of payloads to respond to different operational needs, such as electronic warfare, jamming and different communication and intelligence systems, as well as missile systems.